Hi everybody, welcome to Fair World, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a share button and a like button on your page, just like here. So the first thing you want to do is go to developers.facebook.com, and I'll show you here is the starting URL, developers.facebook.com. That's where you got to go for all your needs in regards to developing um, Facebook apps or Facebook logins or any sort of buttons or plugins that you may need. Just go to developers.facebook.com, and the documentation is fully awesome. The platform is amazing and everything is really organized. So all you gotta do here, once you're here, you click on Docs in the menu, you scroll down, you find social plugins, you click on social plugins. And then all you gotta do is click on the like button. You can also click on the share button, but if you click on the like button, you'll be able to have uh, both buttons, the like button and the share button at the same time. So you click on the like button and then you have a bunch of examples and step-by-step -step tutorial but you just gotta scroll down the middle of the page and right here is the URL that you want it to be liked and shared by people. So here you wanna type in your URL. So we're gonna type in HTTPS, that's for hours. And I always include a forward slash in, in, in the end because theaworld.com is a directory. Of course, it's the landing page, but it's also a directory. Uh, that's good for SEO purposes. Different topic, but it's always a good idea to know how your URLs are structured. Uh, second, uh, you wanna leave the width alone, um, unless you wanna customize it, but you can experiment with it. And then the standard layout, just leave it as standard. Or you can, if you leave it as standard, as you can see here, it will say two people like this page. And Thea World is a new company, we started off in 2015. So um, you may not wanna put two people like this page, but you might just want to use the the regular button because even if you have 20 or 30 likes still i mean it's up to you but i prefer i think it's better to be nice and clean just the two buttons nice and clean like and share and then the action type uh you just leave that as like it has the default and the button size is small you know and why have a large button uh, and then just include the share button or you can take this off and you just have the like button now, once you have done all this, okay, you just click on get code and you'll get two, two, two code. The first one is JavaScript, okay? The JavaScript is important, but you wanna make sure that here they tell you put it in the top of the, in the beginning of the opening of the body tag, but I don't put anything on the top unless it's super important, like, you know, Google Analytics, for example, or, you know, but for a like or a share button, you can put it in the bottom because by the time the users get to the bottom of the page, this JavaScript would have already loaded. So I just copy the whole JavaScript. You just copy it. And I'm gonna to go to my IDE, my integrated development environment. That's where I build pretty much every site. And what I'll do in here is the page, right? Here's the page for Thea World. And I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna find the body tag and I'm gonna just put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? And I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put a comment in just so that you know what's going on in the future. And, and put, uh, whoops. Uh, Facebook share and like button. And, and then, okay. And I'm just gonna paste here the JavaScript code. And it's all grayed out because I put in a comment, but it's all, it's all gonna, it's gonna be fine. So there we go, what have I done? Okay, now you just copy this and you close it here, just so you know what's going on. And I'm gonna put end. All right, and then, oh, there we go. So now you know that this script here is for the Facebook uh, share and like button. So now we have our script. That's cool, okay, that's the script. Um, now, the next thing you wanna do, step three, is get the HTML markup, okay? So you wanna come here and you wanna copy this markup right here. And that's the division and it shows you, you know, the class and everything else and you just copy that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I wanna put it right here. 
right in this place in the useful links because that's the best place so far that I can think of you know I can't think of a better place because down over here it kind of cramps the style because down there I got the gray so I'm gonna put it under this column here and that's a column MD6 I believe but uh, yeah I already have it here let's find it okay so under useful links yeah so I can actually put it here under yeah so the column small three so once you find it's a division right so you can remember uh, I'm gonna paste the code here so you're gonna, you're gonna remember this is a division it opens and closes so and then in the center uh, you have so it's a division with a class and it has the URL here. Remember, we inputted our URL in the Facebook developer uh, platform. So the URL is there. That's really great. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, put in a little comment here so that I don't get confused in the future. Uh, let's see, uh, Facebook. Hey, um, okay, there we go. And uh, so once we uh, command S for save, and I'm going to check out my uh, Facebook, and of course it's already there, but uh, this is how you do it. So, and now, as you can see, you got a like button here and you have a share button. Um, of course, if I test it now and I click share, um, it's going to open a window and I can share this. So, okay, now if I want to like it, it's been liked and I can actually confirm um, that I like it and I will confirm. There we go. There we go. Click here to post this to your profile. So for now, I'm not going to do it, but uh, I'm just going to refresh this page again. As you can see, uh, okay. So just refresh that, that internet connection here. There, there we go. Okay. So the reason why this didn't appear right away is because it wasn't. Uh, in, it is in the bottom of the closing body tag, which they sh they told us to leave it on the top. But anyway, I want it in the bottom. It doesn't might make a difference. By the time a user gets to the bottom of this page, it's going to be loaded already. So um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Thanks very much for watching the tutorial. And in case you're wondering um, in the share, in case you're wondering how this shows up like this, um, like for instance, you know, you have the website name here. You know, you got the title of the page, um, sorry, the description of the page, the title of the page. In case you're wondering why it's uh, it's showing up so perfectly and everything's so super organized, um, is because um, you can see this is the main image. Um, the reason why is because here in my markup, I can show you this in another tutorial. Um, I've added all the um, the Facebook um, meta description. Uh, like the OG type, the OG image, the description, and, and of course the, the site name. This is all, um, uh, it's all with Facebook and uh, it helps Facebook um, sort of like uh, understand what your website is about and how to display it. It doesn't really affect SEO, but it's really good practice to put it in. Um, and I'm going to show you another tutorial on how to get started with that. And it's actually this one here. It's called the Open Graph Protocol, and in this uh, in this page here, you can learn pretty much uh, everything about how your pages appear on Facebook and how they're presented to people. So um, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching my tutorial again, and I'm going to come back with more tutorials. If you really like this tutorial, I can certainly produce more. Uh, there's so much more to learn, and um, it's quite nice to share it with you guys. Okay, thanks for watching, and take care.